Well, when you watched uh, the film, um, w- what gave you guys issues in protection in the second half? It seemed like the first half you guys were able to keep Zach clean, but then there were some issues uh, later in the game. I mean, we were playing a defense that was really good at bringing a bunch of different blitzes, with, whether it was like uh, all eight guys or 11 guys uh, line up on the line of scrimmage and bringing cover zero or running games and so on. And uh, I feel like early on in the game, uh, there was no communication issue. Everything was clean. And then, uh, like you said, in the third and fourth quarter, um, we did run up into some communication issue. It was getting a little louder. Not that it is a, it's an excuse, but um, I, I think being all of, on the same page would have helped us. And, and then I think they brought a couple little wrinkle in the, in the second half, uh, like putting a, you know, a linebacker, uh, blitzing a linebacker that the back was responsible for, and it's not an easy block to do. So um, maybe we could have re-ID some of this stuff, but we didn't. Uh, so I guess we're going to learn from that and, uh, and make sure that it doesn't happen to us again. What do you guys feel like um, you can take away from these last stretch of games here? I mean, in Kansas City, you were playing for something at this time of year in terms of the playoffs. Now that that's not a, for you guys this year, that, that's not a possibility. So what, what can you take away from these last few games? You know what? A lot of people are, are asking those type of questions. Uh, I mean, I just love playing football, you know, <laughs> you know and, and I left Kansas City to come here because I wanted to play football and, and I feel like we have a locker room full of guys that want to play football. So it doesn't really matter the record or what happened next week or, or the week before, like we have a great opportunity this weekend and, and we can go and win this thing. And I feel like whether you win it to make it to the playoff or you just win it, like it's still a win and the, the win are so hard to come by in the NFL that you, you just got to embrace the challenge every week. At least that's how, that's how I see it, you know, and uh, you know, December football is a little different to be honest. Like, and like you said, every time I've played before, it was at this time of the year, it was to, you know, try to clinch the division or try to get on field advantage and so on. But just in the, in the way that you approach the game, it's different. You know, it's colder, uh, you run the ball a little more. Um, and, and I feel like we can learn from those opportunity that we got this year uh, in order to, you know, be even better next year when we're facing those, you know, we're facing those situations and, and we're fighting for a, for a playoff spot. I just wanted to follow up with something you just said, Loren. You said uh, leaving Kansas City to come to the Jets for the opportunity to play you could have remained in Kansas city, right? I mean, you could have been there and you know, they're, they're, I think the number one seed or number two seed now in the playoffs. So you, you sacrifice knowing that they could be that team again in, in January to come for the opportunity to play. Am I reading that correctly? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, I, I know that I've uh, left uh, less uh, football in front of me than I, than I've already played most likely. And, and for me, it was important to, come out of the opt-out and, and go back on a football field and, and contribute to a team. And, um, you know, even, even though Kansas City is doing pretty well right now, the, the right guard is not injured and he's playing pretty well. And, and it was pretty clear the message that I got from the organization that I was going to be a backup until somebody went down. Uh, so in that regard, I'm, I'm really happy to be here, uh, to be on a football field, to, to show what I can do. And, and like I said earlier, like I, I, I love playing football. Like, it's it's tough to lose, but that the adrenaline of like walking out of the locker room, getting ready for the game, um, nothing can beat that. So uh, that's that's why I, that's why I wanted to come here to play football. That was my best opportunity from a personal standpoint. And then if I can help build something here, it's going to be even better. Well, I was curious your thoughts on the um, the new COVID protocols and the NFL kind of moving away from testing everyone to, to just uh, to the vaccinated players only if they're symptomatic? Hmm, that's a good question. Uh, I, I used to, I used to sit on the, uh, the, uh, the COVID task force uh, last year during uh, my opt-out year. And now I don't know exactly what went on and what, you know, how they came to that decision. Uh, to, to me, it kind of makes sense. Uh, honestly, uh, you know, with the, the fact that most of the players are vaccinated, um, but the vaccine doesn't really, you know, protect you fully against the variant. 
uh, but it does protect you against, you know, severe cases or chances of uh, hospitalization. I feel like it, 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 it does make sense to treat only guys that are, you know, symptomatic or unvaccinated. Speaking from a player's perspective, can you, I mean, because now a play, you know, you don't have to get tested unless you feel symptomatic. Do you think some players, the competitiveness in them or ego or pride will guys might conceal symptoms just so they can keep playing? Of course, that's the, that's the downside. And, and I guess, I guess we'll know more in the next week um, and we'll see, you know, after next Sunday, what really happened in terms of number of cases and everything. Um, I, I just hope that guys are going to be honest with themselves, you know, because at the end of the day, um, they're, they're putting me at risk as a, as a player who's following the rule and the guideline because they're, you know, going on the field with symptoms. So at the end of the day, we're all in this together. The goal is obviously to finish the season, to play all the games, but it's also to stay healthy. So I think we just got to be honest with ourselves.